Continuing the chapter on working with data, we're going to talk about what if scenarios. Imagine you're going to buy a car and you have some values you want to vary. Let's look at the price, the months of the car loan, and the annual interest rate as some values. So the present value is the price. Let's say the price, let's say it's 10,000. Months of loan, let's say it's 36. And the annual interest rate, what's the annual interest rate? Let's say it's 5%. So the first thing you might want to know is, what's my payment? So let's start out with that. There's a function called payment, PMT, calculates the payment for a loan. We're assuming that we pay the same amount every month and a constant interest rate. That's usually reasonable for a car loan. So how do you calculate that? There's your payment. Notice it actually helps me, rate. However, guess what? We've got the annual rate. We need to divide that by 12 to get a monthly interest rate. Then we put a comma, the number of periods. Now the number of periods is how many times I pay. Here it's 36. So I should be able to click in that cell and add that. There it is. Then the last thing they ask for is present value. That's the price you pay. Here it is. Notice the payment also has optionally, you can add a future value or a type, which is, do you pay the loan at the beginning of the period or the end? The default is at the end and we're gonna leave that. So here's my payment. This is what I would expect to pay for that car every month for 36 months if the price is $10,000. That sounds interesting. What if I wanna know given the same price, what if there's 24 months in the loan? What would I do? Well, I could say, let's say it's the same price. Again, it's a different scenario, 24 months, 5%. And I could take this payment, right? And if I drag it over here, it'll copy it and it'll change the cell so it refers to my new values and it gives me a higher payment for a shorter time. Now, yes, I could copy this forever. I could do that. I could say, well, what if it's 30 months, right? And I could, again, I could copy this, but there's an easier way to do it. So that's what we wanna talk about here. So here, again, yes, I could do this forever, but this is the hard way. So I'll just say manual method of changing number of months of your car loan. If I don't want to do that, I can use the powerful what if scenarios that you can use in Excel. So let's say I want to do that. So how do I do that? Again, the data tab. Aha. Now I look up here and I say, well, how do I do that? I need something called the scenario manager. But before we do that, we want to understand how things would work. What do I want to vary? Notice here, the price is the same. Is that what I want? Maybe I need to change not only just the loan term, which is what I did manually, but I want to change the price of the car at the same time. Let's say I do that. So how do I do that? So what I can do is put varying terms of the loan. So here it is, 24 months, 30 months, 36 months, 48 months. And I'm gonna not only vary that, but I'm also going to vary the price of the car. So this gives me a lot more options for what my payments could be, and then I can make a better decision. Here we go. So down here in this column are prices of the car, possible prices, and here, there we go, 15,000. So price ranges from 5,000 to 15,000, and the length of the car loan would then vary. Now how do I do this part? So somehow, what I want it to do, right, I've added several prices, I've added several terms of the loan. Now, I want to figure this out. I want to know what will happen. What are the possibilities? What I'm looking for is the what if scenario. 
What I want to do is put the calculation here for the first scenario. So I want to put the payment here, just as I did one by one here. Now I'm going to use the payment function, starting with this, and make it across this whole table. So here it is, my interest rate, again, same function, interest annual divided by 12. Then I'm going to pick the months of the loan, that's the number of periods, and the present value. In this case, this will now be attached to this table. Watch this. So select the table, and you want to go to the data tools and go to what's called the what if scenario, data table. So now I've got data table pop up and it says, what's the beginning of the rows? Now the row, these are the months. So the beginning would be here. And that's the starting point. The column is the price. So there it is. Click OK. And it produces the payments. This is called the data. Here we go. Data tools, what if analysis, data table. So what if analysis has several parts? We just did the data table. What it did was it took this calculation based on the starting parameters for the payment function, and it varied across these columns and these rows. These are all the payments based on the prices of the car that vary and the term of the loan. So now you can get a very good idea based on how much you want to pay for your car, how long the length of the car loan should be, and approximately how much you would pay for your car. This is a very powerful data tool, and we will talk about the other ones. We just talked about data tables. We're going to talk about the other two in the next sections. So this is the end of creating a what-if scenario using a data table.